Hi, I'm Alvaro Enrique and I play the classical guitar. And when I introduce myself this way, very often I'm asked, what is the classical guitar? Let me introduce you to the instrument I play. Depending on where you are from, the classical guitar is no different than what you think of a guitar. There are places where when people think of a guitar, they think of an electric instrument. In some other places, they think of an acoustic instrument with steel strings. But in Latin America or Southern Europe, every time people think of a guitar, it's an acoustic instrument with nylon strings. And that's exactly the instrument I play because it's called classical, it's no different from any generic acoustic nylon string guitar. So the classical guitar is not necessarily a different instrument than the ones you are used to. Maybe not the most popular on your country, but it's just a normal guitar. So we say it's classical mainly because it's used to play classical music and because of that there are some technical differences for example in classical music it's very important to play more than one melody at the same time so because of that playing with a pick or a plectrum is not possible because very often those melodies are in very distant strings. So how could one play different melodies, you know, on the first and in the highest and in the lowest string with a pick without hitting the different strings? That wouldn't be possible. So one needs to play with right hand fingers and most often fingers with nails. Other noted difference is that because classical music also is very virtuosistic and demands a lot on the performer, uh, it's important that the instrument remains stable. When one plays seated with the guitar on the right leg, it's not that stable, it moves a lot. Instead, if you play seated with the guitar on the left leg, the right leg also helps to stabilize the guitar, your chest, the right hand arm, so the guitar is much more stable and you can make very fast jumps without guessing where the notes will be. You know, we can even play air guitar no, knowing exactly where the notes will be because the guitar is always on the same position so we memorize in space where the notes are but if the guitar moves all the time it's impossible to have this spatial memory but this is how the classical guitar is today it has changed a lot to become how it is and for sure, it will keep changing for the future. For example, I introduce you the classical guitar as an acoustic guitar with nylon strings. It wasn't so for most of the history of the classical guitar. Most of the time, the classical guitar was played with gut strings, usually lamb gut, uh, but so those are taken from real gut, from a real animal gut. And during the Second World War, one of the most important classical guitarists of all time, Andres Segovia, he was complaining that because of the war, he wasn't able to have the gut strings. He needed to play the guitar well. Cut strings don't last long, so, and even very small humidity and temperature changes, especially humidity, can break 
the string out of the blue. So he was complaining in the US about how he was having trouble getting new strings with the war. And one maker, Augustini, said that there was a new material going on. They wasn't sure what this material could do. It was called nylon and they could try to make guitar strings out of it and if Segovia thinks it's a good option then they could release it as a product and that's how the first nylon strings were made by Augustini with the help of Segovia and that is why every time you buy an Augustini string guitar set there is a picture of Segovia. Uh, in Brazil, for instance, uh, Segovia is even nicknamed as the old man on Augustini. So, so much is known for that relation with that company. And in recent years, uh, people has been used on the classical guitar, different materials, carbon uh, strings, for example, are very popular. I myself prefer playing with carbon strings because I have a longer sustain and for sure new materials are going on. Another remarkable difference is related to the woods. The main part of the guitar is the top, what you see right in front. Um, let me show you. This is the top of a guitar and this is what produces most of its sound and traditionally tops were made of spruce spruce is an european wood and a spanish guitar maker Ramirez, was considering exploring another other ways to build guitar and included testing different woods. He decided to try cedar, uh, American wood that also grows in the same latitude uh, but here in the Americas. And this, for example, is a cedar guitar top. The cedar top is more brown while the spruce top is more yellow. Just a second. This is a spruce top, so you can see it's more yellow or orange. When it gets older, it looks more orange. And the cedar top looks brown. But that's not enough. There has been researches on the past years that it has achieved to make great guitars using especially on the inner part of the instrument different materials than wood so uh, inside the guitar on the inner part of the top there are some braces some uh, woods or, or different materials that help the sound to spread and can make the guitar sound with a different tone or volume and there has been many guitar makings, makers using a carbon fiber with balsa wood in the inner part of the instrument and more recently people are using even Nomex which is a kind of um, space uh, material for bringing more resistance with light which is needed if you're building things for space you know it's very expensive every kilo of anything that needs to be uh, brought from earth to space costs a lot of fuel a lot of money so the lighter materials are the cheaper to send them to space and nomex helps a lot making things resistant with very uh, without waiting a lot so there has been lots of guitar also using nomex 
and for sure new things will keep being tested and tried on the classical guitar because it's an instrument that is still expanding itself it's still evolving and some of the artistical needs that the classical guitar has hasn't been fulfilled yet for example the classical guitar for a long time plays with orchestras as a soloist but the volume the intensity of the sound that classical guitars produce are yet not the best for playing with orchestras so very often we have to use a microphone to enhance the sound or there are some very special guitarists with some very special guitars being accompanied by very special orchestras with very special conductors that can play the classical guitar acoustically in a very special hall and a very special audience will be able to listen to the classical guitar fully even when accompanied by an orchestra and this is a need an artistical need that hasn't been fulfilled yet and for sure there will be classical guitar makers that will keep on trying to make guitars with more volume to fit that artistical need and there are many more If you want to know more about the classical guitar, besides subscribing to our channel, receiving the notifications, and visiting our website www.alvaroenrique.com, I recommend you to three of the most important guitar composers of all time. First of all, Mauro Giuliani. Giuliani was the composer who wrote the most for the classical guitar. It's more than 150 words for solo guitars, chamber music, concertos, and Giuliani was also the best related classical guitarist of all time. He was known by the very best composers of his time, Beethoven, Giabelli, Carl Maria von Weber, and many of them composed for the guitar to play with Mauro Giuliani. Ettore Villalobos means for the classical guitar what Chopin means for the piano. He not only mastered how was writing for the classical guitar, but he expanded it and the guitar could reach a different dimension after Villalobos. He is great, he is very important. You really need to listen to Heitor Villalobos. And third one, Joaquin Rodrigo, he was the composer of the most known guitar piece ever, the Concierto de Aranjuez for guitar and orchestra. But he wrote many more. He wrote other concerts for guitar and orchestra, concerto for two guitars and orchestra, concerto for four guitar and orchestra, songs accompanied by guitar, chamber music works, solo work, so Joaquin Rodrigo has a very large guitar production that goes beyond Aranjuez and you should listen to it. For more information about music in general, you can go to our website www.alvaroenrique.com and if you want something to be dealt with in these musical talks, just write below, write us so we can talk about the topic you would like to.